What's going on, Bottom Line viewers? It's Dylan back here for another video. I apologize for the long hiatus, but I am back with another solo video. And today, I am going to be doing a spinoff of one of my favorite series on the channel. Usually, I do a which NFL team is better video. Me and Mitch and I have done those. Uh, but those are only done in the regular season and the playoffs. You can't really do those in the off season. It's basically meant for those 20 or so weeks within the season. But you can do this kind of video any week of the year. So I felt like it would be cool to do this for the NFL draft. And we're going to be talking about Kyler Murray and Dwayne Haskins, probably the two most highly touted quarterbacks in the 2019 NFL draft. A lot of discussion has been made whether or not Kyler Murray is the best quarterback in the draft, Dwayne Haskins is the best quarterback in the draft, and I really wanted to compare them. So like I do with the which NFL team is better, we're going over nine different topics. We have size, arm strength, accuracy, mobility, clutch factor, their, what they can do under pressure, leadership, intelligence, and the right system fit. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, smash the like button. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, first category we have here today is size. Which quarterback feels like an NFL quarterback in terms of their size right out of the gate? So we got Kyle Murray here, 5'10", 194 pounds, and Dwayne Haskins listed as 6'3", 220 pounds. This one's a no-brainer. Uh, Dwayne Haskins looks and feels like an NFL quarterback if you just look at the guy. And Kyler Murray is a little bit undersized. The only quarterback I can really give you in terms of a comparison is Russell Wilson. But I still think Russell Wilson is a little, has a little bit more weight, and I think he's one inch taller maybe. So even then, you know, 5'10 quarterbacks, it just seems really small um at this time i'm not saying that's a knock but when we're going size comparison and just off the looks alone you would think dwayne haskins so dwayne haskins wins the size category all right next one you have here is arm strength now arm strength is a very interesting one to say the least because you could just think like oh can he throw the football 50 55 yards 60 yards down the field uh just by you know slinging it as hard as he can but arm strength is a little bit more to it. There's a little bit more to this category here. It's about how accurate you are with the arm strength. Do you make these throws at the right times, or are you willing to just throw it up there for an interception? One of those things. This is a very close category. I think both guys did a good job at this category in 2018, and Colin Murray made some big throws. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go with Dwayne Haskins on this one. It's a very close one. i got to say it's a controversial one. You can pick either or. But with the, when it comes to arm strength for me, I just felt like Dwayne Haskins, especially in the second half of the year, was able to improve on this. Because the first half of the year was a little choppy, was a little skeptical, but he led Ohio State uh, in the second half of the year and just made some more accurate deep balls, 40, 45, 50 yards that I really did enjoy uh, seeing You know, as a guy that likes watching tape for these guys. So I'm going to go with Dwayne Haskins just by a smidge. Next one we got here is accuracy. This is an interesting one because if you look at the stats, you could say Dwayne Haskins, but we have to go a little bit more in depth. Connor Murray's stats were 260 completions, 377 attempts for a 69% completion percentage, and Dwayne Haskins was 373 completions on 533 attempts for a 70% completion percentage. Look at that. Dwayne Haskins threw so many more times than Kyler Murray. I believe 160-something, somewhere around there, 156, something like that. That's insane. And Kyler Murray obviously ran the ball a lot more. We're going to see that in the next category. But you look at just the stats. Okay, Dwayne Haskins has a little bit better percentage, but he threw the ball a lot more. So he should be having a, you know, it, it kind of balances out in a way. I'm going to go with Kyler Murray because if you look at the film, you can't just go off of stats in some of these categories. You have to look at the film. And when you look at the film, Kyler Murray looked accurate. He looked like he was putting the ball in the right positions more times than Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins was still very good at this, and he did somehow still get a better completion percentage than Kyler Murray. But I, I, at the end of the day, I just saw better throws coming from Kyler Murray in the accuracy department than I saw from Dwayne Haskins. I'm just going to say that out loud. So I'm going with Kyler Murray on this one. Dwayne still has a 2-1 lead in the category department, though. Fourth category here today, we have mobility. Um, <laughs> this is the easiest category we have on the entire list. Obviously, Kyler Murray wins this one and ties it 2-2. Kyler Murray ran for 1,000 yards, 1,001 yards, uh, on 140 attempts and had 12 rushing touchdowns. Meanwhile, Dwayne Haskins, uh, I think, averaged 1.4 yards per carry <laughs> and did have four touchdowns, but they were always very short rushing touchdowns. 
Um, this one's pretty simple. I mean, Kyler Murray is obviously smaller, so he's able to run a lot easier than the 6'3", 220-pound Dwayne Haskins. But when we're talking about mobility, you're quite obviously going to take Kyler Murray here. So Kyler Murray, when you rush for 1,000 yards and 12 touchdowns, I think it's going to be very difficult to beat that. So Murray wins in the mobility category. All right, fifth category we have here today, clutch mode. Which quarterback was more clutch in the 2018 season? This one's difficult for me because neither of these guys like broke the bank when it came to clutch moments. It wasn't, you know, oh my God, a run away for one guy or one run away for the other. They did have good moments over the course of the year. Don't get me wrong. One won the freaking Heisman, but let's look at it. So Kyler Murray did win the Big 12 championship against Texas. It was a big game. He threw very well and was able to lead his team to winning that and getting the number four seed or ranking, if you will, for the college football playoff. But they did lose to Alabama. Ohio State did get the number six seed and won the Big Ten Championship, but their loss to Purdue was a big part of them not making the playoffs. So which one do I got to go with? I got to go with Kyler Murray. He was able to lead Oklahoma into the playoffs, and Dwayne was not. That's the first thing. And he was able to come up in bigger situations and show a bigger stat line than Dwayne Haskins. I feel like he just did it a little bit better with a little bit more finesse and a little more confidence than Dwayne Haskins did. Just by a smidge, again. But... I feel like Kyler Murray did more for his factor in the clutch department for his team than Dwayne did. So in this category, I'm going to go with Kyler Murray. Sixth category we have here, under pressure. Which quarterback did the most while they were under pressure in the 2018 season? Going to go with Kyler Murray once again. I know I've picked him quite a bit in these last couple of categories, but hear me out. Kyler has the mobility angle. So when he's under pressure, he can slither out of the pocket and then make that deep throw when necessary. Uh, Dwayne Haskins is not able to do that. If he's under pressure, he's going to have to get the ball out either very quickly, make sure that he has a guy underneath, or he's going to get sad. So even though Dwayne did a very good job of this over the course of the season, it felt like at times he really didn't like that he was under pressure. He looked like he really was uncomfortable making the throw that he wanted to make because there was guys right around him, which, of course, makes sense. But I feel like Kyler Murray adapted to this a lot easier than Dwayne did. With Kyler Murray, he was like, all right, I'm still going to take my shot to Hollywood Brown or whoever to make sure that I'm going to get this first down. Or if I got to, under pressure, I'm going to make the run for the first, something that he did quite a bit over the course of the 2018 Heisman season. So... Again, Dwayne did a better job over the course of the second half of the year, but you could still see the struggles within it. I feel like Kyler progressed more in this category. So I'm going to give Kyler the edge. He has a 4-2 lead over Dwayne here in this video. All right, seventh category we have here is leadership. These last three categories really don't have anything to do with stats. It's all about things that are you know, in the grand scheme of football. So we have leadership here. Which quarterback did I think was the better leader for their team in 2018? Uh, this one's an interesting category as well because you got Dwayne Haskins. He came in here. It was his first year as the starter for Ohio State. He had big shoes to feel, obviously, with all the quarterbacks that have been at Ohio State. So he had to come in and lead this team, and he did a pretty good job still winning the Big Ten. Uh, and then Kyler Murray, he's coming in with big shoes to fill, obviously, because of Baker Mayfield in 2017. Like, how are you going to follow up the Heisman quarterback? Well, he followed up with his own Heisman season, uh, and the team you know, rallied around him. So both quarterbacks did a pretty good job at leadership here. If I had to take a winner here, I would go with Kyler Murray. And the thing is, is that you also have to think about this when he gets to the NFL. I feel like Kyler Murray just had that spark in him, that little bit of uh, energy that I don't think Dwayne has at certain moments. And I felt like Kyler Murray was just able to rally the troops in certain situations a little bit easier. It felt like there was a little bit more excitement to the Oklahoma Sooners franchise, or the, the team itself, I should say, compared to the Ohio State Buckeyes. So if there was anything that I had to say, I, I mean, again, it's a pretty close one here. I, I got to appreciate what Dwayne did in his first season, but I got to take Kyler Murray here. All right, eighth category we have here is intelligence. Again, one of those things that you have to watch the film for. Which quarterback did I think made the more intelligent plays over the course of the year? Uh, which quarterback do I think is smarter in terms of their decisions on the field, et cetera, et cetera? Uh, both quarterbacks did a great job at understanding the situation that they were in, knowing that these are two pretty big schools uh, trying to make the playoffs consistently and making an impact on the college football season and they both did a pretty good job of making uh the rounds in the in the college football landscape they were able to put their names out there 
showcase their talents. Dwayne Haskins with his 50 passing touchdowns this year. Kyler Murray with his, I, I can't remember his passing touchdowns, but he also had a decent amount of rushing touchdowns, 12. So at the end of the day, these guys made really good decisions and they didn't throw a whole lot of interceptions. I believe it was seven for Kyler uh, or Haskins and eight for Murray, somewhere around there. So at the end of the day, both of these guys are pretty intelligent, but I'm going to go with Kyler Murray on this one. Again, some of these are separated by just a little bit here, but with Kyler Murray, he got to that point where he was a Heisman contender. He knew he had to keep that going, like the streak going, and get Oklahoma in the playoffs because they faltered over the last couple of years to make that spot, and he was able to get them in at that number four spot. Even though they didn't win that game against Alabama, he still had great moments to get them there. So just a little bit more on the intelligent side to me uh, over Dwayne Haskins. All right, our last category here is right system fit. And what that means is which quarterback is going to have an easier transition into the NFL. Like if they go to this team or that team, what's going to be the easier transition? I'm going to go with Dwayne Haskins here, and here's why. With a guy like Kyler Murray, when you get into the NFL, you have to base your offense around him. It takes time to develop an offense that's built around this kind of quarterback. And some teams have been very successful. Obviously, look at Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. But other teams have not been as successful. And it, again, just takes time to develop that offense. It might not be as smooth going into year one. With Dwayne Haskins, whatever team that he goes to, and whatever team decides to draft him, they're going to automatically be built around him. I feel like they're going to have this group of guys be ready for his style of offense. You know, his big arm, his uh, ability to lead kind of things like that. Again, Kyler Murray can lead. I said he had better leadership, but I feel like a team is going to be adapting a lot easier to a guy like Haskins than what feels like a lot more college style in Kyler Murray. Like it feels like Dwayne Haskins, if you were to be an NFL player, would feel like an NFL player a little bit more than Kyler Murray. He just fits that college quota of, ah, oh, he's not going to be as great in the NFL. You have to watch and see if that happens um, in a few years from now. So I feel like the right system fit is going to go to Dwayne. Again, this one can be determined later, but in terms of what I think right now, I think Dwayne fits the right system fit. That's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, Gronk spike the like button. That means even more now. It's even more significant now that Gronk has retired. Um, comment below, which quarterback do you think is better, Kyler Murray or Dwayne Haskins? As you could tell, I had Kyler Murray winning 6-3. to three. Dwayne had some pretty close categories as well. I mean, accuracy was really, really close. He even had better uh, percentage-wise, completion percentage, but you have to watch the tape for that one. Um, under pressure was pretty close as well. Intelligence, right system fit. Some of these are just, you know, seeing what I saw on the field and making an assumption, uh, and I just saw that Kyler Murray was the better quarterback. But these are probably two, the two best quarterbacks going into the NFL draft in 2019. So if a team picks Dwayne Haskins uh, and Kyler Murray's already off the board, I wouldn't be mad. Like, that's what I'm saying here. I'm not trying to not like uh, Dwayne Haskins. I just, this is a quarterback comparison between two different guys that are ranked number one and number two in this draft. So, in terms of quarterbacks. So, I had to pick one or the other. I'm picking Kyle Murray. So, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the Bottom Line View for more NFL content. And I will be back very shortly. Peace, guys.